I am in the wild. <laughs> Tiffany Henyard has a taste for travel. There she is front and center at the White House at a meeting for mayors this month. So Tiffany A. Hidyard is at the White House? What's going on? So this video is about our favorite super mayor, Tiffany A. Hinyard, probably one of the more corrupt politicians in America. But, but, you gotta give it to Tiffany A. Hinyard. She went from breaking into cars to the White House in less than 10 years. So Tiffany A. Hinyard is making it happen. And now with her newfound friend in the White House, Tiffany A. Hinyard is hitting back. She's released a series of videos telling us that everything we've been saying is fake news. And she is the victim of a media smear campaign. So she's answered a couple of the allegations straight out, straight out. So let's go through them together. All right, so the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna play the allegation and then I'm gonna play her response. And let me know if any of this makes sense. So let's start with police overtime. This is what the news media found out about how much some of the cops on Tiffany A. Hinyard security detail make in overtime. And in the case of Officer Terry Young last May, 303 hours worked over a two week period. That resulted in a single paycheck of more than $13,000. How? How does a person put in a two week pay period, 303 hours? That's impossible. That's there's, impossible. There's 336 Does he hours. never go to sleep? In fact, there are 336 hours total in two weeks, meaning Young was not being paid for only 33 hours over that period. So, you heard the allegation, got the Freedom of Information Act, looked at the records, he was paid for 303 hours in a two week period, which is essentially impossible because there's only 336 hours in a two week period. So, how's the super mayor? What's she gonna say? Did he not work it? Was it a mistake? What the hell was he doing? Were those records accurate? Here is super mayor Tiffany A. Henyard explaining it. Two, well that's nothing. Ow. How does a person put in a two week pay period, 303 hours? That's impossible. That's impossible. That's impossible. Residents, ask yourself this question. How can you work 303 hours? Please tell me, because I'm a workaholic. Anybody that truly know me, I work nonstop. As soon as I get up all the way to y'all sleep, I'm still on the street. So please tell me how you can work more hours in a day so I can do it. But 303 hours, come on now. Did nobody use common sense? And I'm speaking to my board. Not one of y'all use common sense. Not one of y'all calling and ask no questions. Y'all just got on the news and just went in, huh? So let's break it down. If trustee Tammy Brown, I'm mad she's not here because she should have been here so she can get this lesson I'm about to give her. If she is a HR um, specialist, why didn't she know where the 303 hours came from? This is why I'm trying to educate the public. Where did 303 hours come from? Nobody used common sense to say that maybe it's vacation time, maybe it's comp time, which is um, paid time, due hours. Nobody nobody thought to think of that. Y'all just thought somebody went and, and ran amok. Uh -huh. We didn't do that at all. So that's why I'm clearing it up. Now with Tiffany A. Hinyard, you got to listen very carefully because she didn't say it was vacation time. She said maybe. It may be vacation time. It may be comp time. It could be any of these things. But she never is going to tell you exactly what it is. It's like a fart in the wind. Who really knows? Now just ask that question. How can somebody work 303 hours? Ross payroll for Th May this the This is trustee Stan Brown. 2023, $480,776.80. Okay. Trustee Tammy Brown. So Tiffany A. Hinyard's argument is that because the city council approved the budget for the entire town and the thousands of employees, the snow plowers, the janitors, the schools, and the police department, they should have been able to detect that one employee who had this extra crazy amount of overtime. And since they approved it, it's all good. It's on them. Now, listen, this is the same thing as saying Congress, that when Congress approves the federal budget, that if there's one person in the government that's stealing time 
that it's Congress's fault. They should have seen that coming. They, they approved the budget, so that was okay. No, right? Now, I don't know if this office is stealing time, but working 303 hours, and we don't know if it's overtime. We don't know if it's comp time. We don't know what it is, but they approved it. I don't think that's a really good excuse, but let's hear her out. On that board meeting, it was on May 5th, 2023. It was for the pay period of 416 through 430. So anybody want to foil you and do the real research like you should have done before you made the story, they voted, this board right here, entire board, voted to pay out the entire payroll for that day. So how they sitting here saying they don't know? Obviously, y'all must didn't read your package, but y'all got the same information that we gave to everybody else. But y'all voted to pay this individual and then anybody else, they payroll. Didn't ask no questions, didn't have no discussion, didn't do anything. But y'all ran to the media and tried to spin the narrative as though we was doing something wrong. So now, just to be clear, that officer did get paid for 303 hours that week. Tiffany A. Henyard says it could be overtime, could be comp time. Nobody asked any questions and you paid him. That's her defense for her bodyguard getting paid 303 hours. And that's what she said. That's the response and that shows you that it's all fake news. I don't know what she's talking about, but she went on. Remember this clip? Nobody knows something. Don't know nobody know nothing. Here she is starting a Dalton Village board meeting dressed like the Wesley Snipes character in the movie New Jack City. What happened? Huh? Don't nobody know nothing? Don't nobody know nothing? What up with this? <laughs> Somebody got to know something was going on. Sit your $5 ass down before I make change. So it's obvious that Tiffany A. Hinyard is mimicking Nino Brown from that scene. Now, there are a lot of people who mimic that scene. For instance, there was a show on back in the 90s called Martin, who also mimicked that scene. Take a look. Again, Go man. sit your $5 ass down before I make change. <laughs> Oh, you want some $5? You might have got changed $5. So you've seen the actual scene. You've seen Tiffany A. Hinyard's rendition of the scene. And you've seen Martin's rendition of the scene. Remember, it was the scene, Martin, and then Tiffany A. Hinyard. So now, here is what Tiffany A. Hinyard says is wrong with the way we're looking at this and why it's fake news. Okay. Somebody knows something. Don't nobody know nothing? Nobody. Nobody? Trustee? Nobody? Somebody knows something. Ain't that right, Jake? I think you know something. Yeah, Jake, you know something about it. Tiffany Hanyard certainly isn't shy about attracting attention. Here she is starting a Dalton Village board meeting dressed like the Wesley Snipes character in the movie New Jack City. Okay, so do I have to say it? She's wearing the same hat, she's got the chain, she's got the duck. She looks like she's dressed up as Nino Brown. How is she going to respond to this? I know you're going to dig this. So, y'all know why we're here, right? Uh, you talking? Huh? Don't, Don't anybody, anybody know nothing! nothing. Yeah, I know huh? Okay, so she's saying that she was reenacting the Martin scene and the Martin scene was reenacting Nino Brown because in that scene on Martin, he was reenacting Nino Brown. So she's now saying that she's reenacting the Martin scene and happened to be acting the Nino Brown scene, even though she was dressed up as Nino Brown. And that's supposed to make everything the guy said in that news report that she was dressed as Nino Brown reacting the scene. That makes that fake news. What is she talking about? This is what <laughs> Zuma calls a, re a receipt to show that it's fake news. And you know what? There are probably people who are going to believe this. This is like really bad. This is bad. This is Tiffany, Tiffany, this is not a receipt. This is stupid. So now Tiffany Ahenyard is going to answer the question, did she hire a child sex offender to go into people's homes? About 20 Dalton residents and a couple trustees protest outside Village Hall today, furious after a Fox 32 investigation found this registered child sex offender on the public payroll. A sex offender, you don't give them 
carte blanche to go into different people homes. 46-year-old Lavelle Redman is close friends with Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard, who in September hired Redman as a code enforcement officer without the village board's approval. Redman served 25 years in prison for the brutal gang rape and beating of two young teenage girls in the 1990s. But Mayor Henyard says her friend deserves a second chance, infuriating a number of Dalton residents. Notice the badge on his waist. I think it's deplorable. Uh, that you've hired a person that has the history that he does and you've given him a badge and a car to roam our village. So, do you think Tiffany A. Henyard made any type of statement about this hiring a child sex offender to go into people's homes? No, she didn't. She left that one off the list. Matter of fact, she left a lot of stuff off the list. So, she didn't really say anything about that because that just actually happened and, you know, <laughs> it, just, it just is what it is. So, do you think Tiffany A. Henyard's excuses for these things that were happening in the in Dalton, do you think they're good? Do, that, does that convince you? We were wrong. She wasn't dressed up as Nino Brown, right? She was dressed up as Marion. Or what about the guy on her detail that made the 303 hours in a two week period? Was it overtime? Was it this? Was it that? Was it fairies from heaven? Who knows? But did Tiffany A. Hanyard give you a good enough excuse to believe that that report was fake news? Don't forget, the village trustees approved the budget for the whole town. So that means they're responsible for each individual employee. Does that convince you? Let me know in the comments section if Tiffany A. Hanyard's Empire Strikes Back actually convinced you of anything. But with that said, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all that great YouTube stuff. My name is Nathan Lurie, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.